Jamie, uh, looking back over the uh, Easter period, uh, particularly good Friday for Featherstone Rovers, we had a good victory against Sheffield Eagles and uh, a race of tries for you as well. So just looking back to that game, uh, you must have been delighted with that performance, both as a team and uh, individually for yourself. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it was a fantastic performance uh, and a great night to be a part of, really. I mean, the crowd was great um, and I'd like to thank the first and for their support in, in what we were trying to do there. Um, the atmosphere was fantastic to play in and, and as you say, the boys were great for 80 minutes uh, against a good Sheffield side. Um, we were very focused leading up to the game as we've got a lot, they've got a lot of threats all over the team really. Um, so we knew we had a job to do with them and, and I thought we executed it really well, especially in defence. Yeah, that second half didn't concede a point and uh, Great effort uh, not to concede a point against any opposition in, in 40 minutes and uh, I know John Sharp was delighted with that effort and uh, so must have been the boys. Yeah, definitely. Um, as I said before, they've got threats all over the field really and they're a very good attacking team. Um, so the, the way that the boys dug in and, and scrambled and worked hard for each other when we're under a bit of adversity or they, they were getting a bit quick or whatever. Um, well, fantastic to be in again. It, it just seems like a great, a great team spirit at the moment, and everybody's working out for each other. Yeah. So unfortunately, it wasn't a, a good a Monday. Um, but speaking to Andy Ellis early, it's uh, quite a lot of adversity in that game, particularly the second half, and yeah. playing three games in eight days. Uh, that kind of take its toll, toll a bit. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we can't focus too much on adversity. I'd like to say that in the first half, we we, fought, we backed up the Sheffield performance really, really well. I thought defensively we were great. Um, the second half, like you say, with the losses to um, Briggsy and, and Colton and uh, Johnny Davis with a head knock, um, we were under a little bit of adversity. Um, and then the penalty count did, didn't sort of do us any favours really. So um, under that adversity and not having too much of the ball, I think, and the fact that it was three days in eight, 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 three games in eight days, sorry, uh, it was a little bit too much. Um, but the boys, credit to them, they dug in really for 80 minutes. and we took a lot of positives from it. Good, well I know uh, Halifax up next on Sunday and it's going to be another tough game. They've <coughs> come back from the victory against uh, Bradford and uh, they've got a couple of ex Featherstone uh, players in, in their ranks so I always adds a bit more to the game. So what's your thoughts on this Sunday's clash? Uh, I mean, games against Halifax, especially the ones that I've played in since I've been at Featherstone, are, are, are real, real good encounters. A uh, real physical, r really physical team. Um, got threats all over the field again. Um, and as you say, they beat Brad from the weekend, and uh, they'll be full of confidence coming coming down here to play us. Um, but we're fully focused on what we have to do to beat them, and uh, all the boys are really looking forward to it. Well, you touched on it earlier um, about the, the Sheffield uh, crowd, and you were involved with the, the organisation of Featherstone Lions coming up, and I know they've been invited uh, again this weekend. So, uh, how does it help them that we've got a good crowd and atmosphere cheering on the boys? Oh, it helps massively. I mean, if you've got a big crowd supporting you and, and, and cheering you home, then you know, it gives you that extra bit of energy when you when you're struggling. Um, and it's great to see that the two that the two teams in the local area are sort of getting a good link between them. I think it's important that Featherstone Rovers recognise the what Featherstone Lions have done and, and vice versa. So if that link can keep growing, uh, I think it'll be best better for for Featherstone Rovers and for the Lions as well. Well, good luck on Sunday. I'm sure there'll be plenty of Featherstone fans uh, cheering you on. So yeah. thank you. Hope so. Cheers.